same stitch work a front post double crochet go into the next stitch work a double crochet then work a front post double crochet into the same stitch from this round we are creating this front post texture so I will complete this round and then I will show you what to do next round is completed make a slip stitch into this chain 3 slip stitch into the next stitch go into this front post stitch chain 3 that will be counted as the first double crochet one double crochet into the same stitch that means there are two double crochets now in the front post stitch I will work a front post double crochet skip the next simple double crochet go into this front post double crochet and work one and two in the same stitch two double crochets and a front post double crochet so this is how I will complete this next round and then I will show you how to uh, start the next round ok let's start next round we will start next round by making a slip stitch in the next stitch one more slip stitch into the next ok we are here in this front post double crochet stitch make chain 3 it will be counted as a first double crochet one double crochet in the same stitch two double crochets now chain 1 and work a front post double crochet in the next front post in the same front post double crochet jump into the next front post double crochet stitch that means we need to skip these two double crochets and then we will go into the next one and work one and two double crochets chain one and one front post double crochet so this is how i will complete the round and then i will show you what to do the next four rounds are completed make a slip stitch into the next one make a slip stitch into the next chain 3 chain 3 would be counted as the first double crochet two more double crochets in the same stitch chain 1 work a front post double crochet jump into this next front post double crochet work 1 2 and three double crochets chain one and a front post double crochet I will repeat it till this stitch then I will show you how to start the next round I hope that you can understand that how slowly and gradually we are increasing this after making a slip stitch I will just make one more slip stitch two more slip stitch actually slip stitch into this front post chain 3 and it will be counted as the first double crochet two more double crochets chain 2 front post in the front post of previous row ok jump into the next front post three double crochets one two three chain 2 and a front post double crochet so this is how I will repeat this ok as you can see these front post lines and this curve I hope you are liking it so just complete this round and we will start the next one 6 rounds are completed begin the round 7 by making 2 slip stitches Ok, go into this front post, make chain 3, 1, 2 and 3, work 3 more double crochets into this same stitch, 1, 2, 3 and total 4, 3 double crochets plus chain 3, then make chain 2 and a front post. double crochet 
go into this next front post double crochet where four double crochets one two three four chain two and a front post double crochet so this is how I will complete this whole round make a slip stitch right here so as you can see my round is completed if you want to increase it you can increase it by working five double crochets then chain one and a front post double crochet for the next round you can uh, make five double crochets chain two and a front post double crochet so this is how you can increase it and uh, this is how it will look i hope you have liked the tutorial please don't forget to subscribe my channel like and share my videos thank you for watching thank you so much